All right, so I just talked about mathematical models of studying uh, radioactivity. It is uh, in terms of averages and probability, which in, in uh, class 12th physics is called as decay constant and average mean life. Uh, so this is a mathematical way of studying uh, radioactivity. See, there are other characteristics. Radioactive decay is a spontaneous process, right? Uh, radioactive decay is not uh, studied for one nucleus. It is studied for millions of nucleus. So it's a special thing when you study radioactivity, you're using averages, probability, half-life, mean life, and, you know, spontaneity of the radioactive decay. And you're also, you know, uh, wondering about uh, the fact that, you know, you cannot study one nucleus in isolation in radioactivity. Just good to, in, good to know information gives you a good understanding of, you know, what is radioactive decay? You know, why is it special? Thank you.